Hello, I am starting YouTube. I feel like this has been such a long time coming. If you know me, you know that I've spoken about it a lot, but just never actually bit in the bullet and brought the camera, which I now have. So yeah, I'm really excited for this new journey and I guess addition to Nula. I just wanted a channel to kind of show the day in the life of a business owner, what I get up to, the highs, the lows, and like everything in between. I personally love YouTube. I, again, if you know me, you know I watch vlogs. That's kind of like my comfort watching, I guess. Like I watch so many people on YouTube, absolutely love it. I've always been so interested in kind of like doing it my own, but I have never really had the guts to actually do it. But I guess now I've got this platform with Nula and actually something to share and talk about. I've just been really keen to do it so I guess here is my first vlog but yeah I'm really excited to take on along my journey this year's looking to be such a fun big year we've got loads of new stuff coming my rebrand would have just launched which you'll be able to see so I kind of wanted that to coincide with starting YouTube I'm also going traveling with some of the girls that also do what I do for a big work holiday so that's something I really really wanted to capture because I think it's gonna be amazing we've got those new clients signing we're starting to do more photo shoots and kind of in the studio with Ella who I work with so there's just so much more to share and I really just wanted to capture this whole journey I guess for myself but also for others who are maybe starting their own business or wanting to or just love kind of watching and having a nose at people's day which is what I like doing so yeah let's see how it goes I'm very excited for this so thank you for watching if you're watching hello good morning I have just parked up I'm working at my parents today because I have to go and change my tires at lunch which is really super exciting for my first day of blogging so it's gonna be a slightly change of seat <laughs> i didn't realize he was in the background i don't know if you can see him yeah so today is rebrand launch day for nula i'm just i mean you guys would have seen it by now but this is the day and i am so excited um it feels like a kind of new beginning for nula and yeah, I can't wait for everyone to see it. I'm like a little bit nervous. I feel like I didn't sleep really well last night because I was just, I don't know. I mean, I obviously love it. I adore it, but you always think, oh, what are people gonna think of it? I hope everyone likes it as much as I do. All of that good stuff, imposter syndrome. But um, no, I'm excited. And you'll have to let me know if you do like it and what your thoughts are. So I'm gonna be taking you through my day of the relaunch and last minute bits and bobs I'm doing. And then we, I can show myself actually launching it and stuff, which would be really exciting and really nice to look back on. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. Another cat has come to join me. <laughs> Currently working on Stories by Chloe's Pins. Such a stunning gallery um, for Studio Walker. I am just creating them here, ready to send off to Ella. It is half an hour, well, 20 minutes until it's a bit reflective, 20 minutes until Nula launches, um, Nula relaunches. So I'm just checking over everything on later. But yeah, I feel really nervous. I don't know why. I think it's just putting something out there that you love. You kind of want other people to love it. Okay, I'm having to film on my phone because annoyingly, perfect timing, my camera has died. So quality might be a bit weird. But yeah, I am just getting the last bits and bobs together for the relaunch which is at four it's quarter two four at the moment and it's like a nice full circle moment i'm working at my parents today because I had the whole car tire palaver so i'm actually sat in the room where i started nula which is kind of cute okay. okay here are some of the bits that i've prepped camera not working <laughs> i'm gonna do three different ones we've got the main one ah crazy and then the third one will be a reel with studio kind that you will be seeing of course this happens okay let's try again <laughs> we have launched so excited god the reality of that such a nightmare so i went on to later where i scheduled my posts and the first post i uploaded like three posts um all to launch the rebrand and two of them failed to post so just weren't going anywhere and then i wasn't sure if they were gonna upload or not so i had to quickly delete that schedule copy and paste all the captions over to my phone and like quickly scurried to um, manually post it. So the reality of that, 
looked smooth sailing from outsider's point of view. My gosh, I was sat here like, ah, but um, no, it's live. I'm, yeah, very excited to see the responses. Um, I mean, I'm so lucky to have such an amazing community around me. So um, thank you for all of your support kind of on the build up and for checking things and checking over my website. Um, Carmela looked over my website for me. Um, I showed my branding to quite a few people just to kind of get opinions. So yeah, thank you so much guys. And yeah, here's to the new beginning for Nula. For a reason, and we are meant to be in the Good morning. I'm starting the day in my bedroom <laughs> because we had people paint our living room yesterday and it still just stinks of paint and it's so cold we had the window open all night so a bit of a different setup i've spent the morning going through all the lovely comments on my rebrand so many just really supportive lovely messages you can't see but <laughs> I would introduce you to my new client, Joe's Tea, which is so exciting. We're doing their work on XD, which I don't usually use, but I'm kind of loving. So, I've got like the feed mock up stories here. Wednesday, which is my Anuka day, which was my first client, which is actually so sweet that we still work together. It's been, I guess, three years now, which is mental. I'm back at my desk now, it's half 10, and I'm just having a look over her new website and just to kind of point out any changes and how we can kind of expand on the about page and about the ethics tab and everything. So that's task one of the day. I then have a call and then we're going to be sorting out press. So she brought out, so I keep saying she, Francesca from Manuka, brought out a new collection the other month, last month, called Anna, which is stunning. And um, we did a big photo shoot for it. And so now we are sending out some press for the new collection. I guess focusing on Valentine's Day as that's coming up in Feb. Fun fact, I used to do PR at uni. Used to? I did PR at uni. So I know a bit about it. I just really got put off going into it because as a career I think it's quite I mean my way of looking at it was that it was quite frustrating because you literally send hundreds and hundreds of emails to so many contacts like amazing big magazines and stuff and you probably hear back from two or three if you're lucky and don't kind of get any responses and I think that's just the way it works but I mean I just find it really frustrating because you put a lot of time and effort into it obviously it's usually a lovely new product that you want to shout about and then you don't really hear much back but um I mean yeah doing it for Anuka is great we do get some coverage which is really exciting when it does happen but it's just a very frustrating in terms of it being a career which is why I kind of dropped that idea <laughs> um so yeah I will show you what I'm up to but I'm just enjoying the tea in this lovely husky cup that Susie got me for Christmas I actually love it I use it just as a mug at home because it's such a good size like I know it's for takeaways but which I do use it for but it's just such a good size cup of tea Hopefully, this is a little real me and um, Studio Kind did together. Just popped on it at lunch and it's doing so well, which is so exciting. So this is how the new feed is looking with my rebrand. Love it. I've decided that I'm gonna go and work from my cafe this afternoon because one, the washing machine is on and it's very noisy. And also, um, it's just nice to get out of the house sometimes. So I've got a cafe just down the road, literally down the road that I go to, which is, it'll be nice. I think I need it today. If you know, you know, I 
absolutely love Sherlux and just casually emailing them with um, Anika's new collection. <laughs> just why I pop that in because that was the excitement of my afternoon. It is eight o'clock and I am just gonna pop to a cafe quickly because I'm working with my friend today. So I'm going over to hers to, I guess, co-work together, but I'm a little bit early. So I think I might go and grab a coffee first just so that I'm not super, super early. And then we're gonna work together for the day, which will be really nice. We haven't done it before. So I'm looking forward to it. It'll be nice to have someone else to work with now. <laughs> First things first, I am obsessed with Nearly Words podcast. If you sign up to my newsletter, you will see that this was my kind of what's hot this month, but I mean every month, it's all I really listen to. So I'm gonna put one of these in the background because these two are honestly hilarious. They make me laugh so much. <laughs> so that's gonna be on. Happy Friday. I have just sat down at my desk. I popped to the gym this morning. Had a shower, did all that good stuff, so it's a little bit of a later start, it's 10 o'clock. But I am trying to have slower Fridays, that's kind of the aim going forward. <laughs> it's a bit hard at the moment because onboarding new clients, I kind of have, my days are quite full. But once I'm kind of in a flow, I'd love to kind of get back into, I used to take like a half day on Friday or, I don't know, I've spoken about it with so many people about doing the four day week and I think a lot of us have like tried it but then don't stick to it. Um, I was talking to Phoebe from Any Day about it ages ago and we were like, right, we're gonna stick to it and just never did. I did actually see on her stories that she's gonna be trying it again. And I was like, you know what, I think I should too. We have the freedom to to do it. So why not kind of give it a go? But I'd wanna do it productively or kind of do a bit of work on a Friday morning and then finish it a bit earlier. We will see, obviously I will document it if I do. But for now, I am working this Friday. <laughs> I've got quite a chill day today. I'm doing quite a lot of ideas for reels and everything for different various clients. Um, tweaking some captions. I've got to edit a reel for Jim Chapman. They're doing a reel about like, their house renovation, which it, I love interiors and stuff. So excited to have a look at that. And then I'm working on Full Bloom's Instagram. If you are into like wellness, manifesting, all of that good stuff, definitely give Full Bloom a follow. They're Full Bloom, Full Bloom Inspo on Instagram, or the founder Paris Fletcher is huge on TikTok. She's doing so well, like she's such a lovely girl. So I would definitely check them out because I feel like everyone's so into that world at the moment. Also, again, with the Husky Cups. What else was I gonna say? Yes, I've got a coffee catch up at, well, turned into a lunch catch up at midday, well, one-ish with Carmela. We usually try and catch up on a Friday just purely because we're so bad at whatsapping each other. <laughs> I feel like I've got so bad at whatsapping people that aren't clients, like friends. So we've got a little catch up, so I will obviously show you that. But yeah, I'm gonna get on with some work and I will take you along with my day. I was just listening to a really interesting Alice Burnham podcast. I haven't listened to her in ages. They're talking about like money mindset, which is something that I, like, I don't know a lot of people don't like to talk about money and when we had our podcast it was something that we made sure to talk about because I think when you're starting a business it's such a like gated 
side of running your own business like no one spoke about money I remember just kind of thinking gosh how do I even go about even pricing myself and my services like what's my time worth and all of this stuff and I'm so glad that people are talking about it now I feel like it's been a long time coming and people are finally being transparent about what they earn and why hitting these 10k months that people it seems to just be a figure plucked from the air isn't necessarily a goal that we all need to be setting ourselves like it's why ten, I, I don't know they were talking about like why is it 10k why is it not reaching 5k 8k just talking about money and we just have these weird theories in our head that if we're not hitting this mark we're not successful or like we've got to hit this to be successful it was a really interesting podcast it's on i don't know i'm watching it on her youtube but it's called 10k months financial privilege and money mindset with ellie this girl makes this girl talks money which i'm guessing is her um instagram channel i haven't actually heard of her but so interesting i would really recommend it if you're kind of in a bit of a funny place with money or kind of find yourself constantly comparing yourself to others i think you're on your own personal journey and as long as you're enjoying what you're doing and can sustain your business and yourself and have a good lifestyle i think that's all that matters they're kind of saying that your lifestyle matters a lot more so it was this one 10k months financial privileges and money mindset such a good podcast i need to follow this girl actually because she talks a lot of sense <laughs> these oh my gosh you need to try them they are so yummy they're literally like my go-to snack hello it is actually saturday sunday even now i completely forgot to finish the vlog on friday so i thought i would just pop on as i'm editing it well i've just finished editing it and exporting it and realized there wasn't an end to it which i mean it's my first week <laughs> so I just completely forgot. I'm going to be recording vlogging next week as well. And I mean, there's a lot going on. I kind of didn't record an end to the vlog on Friday because this week we found out that we're moving. So we're moving flats. So we've kind of got to scramble to pack everything this week coming. So everything's a little bit up in the air, but it's all good um, because we can do stuff in the evenings. But yeah next week is looking really good i'm going to london on tuesday to meet some of the girls who also work within social media and digital marketing and like the kind of area that i'm in and then i'm also doing a co-working session with my assistant the girl i work with lovely ella so there'll be a lot to record so i just thought i'd hop on the end and say there's more coming but yeah just to sign off and hope everyone enjoyed my first vlog i'm sure they'll get a bit longer like i'd love to kind of get better at the whole chatting to the camera aspect and showing a bit more of my day i think last week there wasn't tons i could show because some of it was kind of client work that i couldn't show or onboarding new people who i guess i don't have a relationship yet to know that i can kind of show a lot of their work so hopefully there'll be more to come in the future but i really hope you enjoyed my first vlog <laughs>